welcome back to my channel where today I will be doing a recipe with these beans uh, they're called barbunya in in uh, Turkish um, they're like red mullet beans some people call them uh, cr cranberry beans uh, they're basically your beans in between they're not dried beans and they're not fresh beans they're in between um you leave your beans uh when they when they're green you, they don't pick them and they don't let leave them to get too dry and they get picked up so they're in between fresh and dry um and they come out like this and all you do is uh, just open them up like so once they're and you've done them just give them a good wash rinse and i'll come back to you once you've um, peeled your beans and washed them you just put them in a saucepan cover them up with water and bring it to boil unlike the um, dried beans you don't have to soak them overnight so just wash them cover them with water bring it to boil once your beans come up to boil then turn it down on a low heat and just simmer it for five minutes like that. Once your beans have been boiling for um, five minutes, you want to rinse them. Just, um, just rinse them out. Put your pan back on the stove uh, and just pour some olive oil. About half a cup of olive oil. Once that heats up, I have got one large onion chopped up. So we're going to have that in it. So we want our onions fine in the olive oil like so, just so that they change their colour. I've also um, got two carrots peeled and chopped up. We'll add that into it. And I've also done one um, potato, just um, peeled, washed and cubed. That goes in there as well. <clears throat> now some people like to put um, garlic. If you like garlic flavour, then you can do two cloves of garlic as well. We just want to, uh, just until they change their colour, just fry them gently in this olive oil. Once our onions, carrots and potatoes have been frying like this in with the olive oil, like I said, if you like uh, garlic, you can add a couple of cloves of garlic chopped up in here at this stage. Um, what I'm going to do now is I've got one tablespoon of tomato puree. That will go in it. One tablespoon of tomato puree and you want to now mix this in with your vegetables. So once your vegetables are fried for about five minutes, add in a tablespoon of tomato puree and give them a good mix like so. Once you've stirred your tomato puree in with it, next we pour in our barbunya beans, our cambry beans, our red mullet beans. You just want to give that a good mix. Next we want to add some water to cover it. Okay, next we're going to leave that to boil up first and then we will turn it down and simmer. Okay, it's been about half an hour 
on a low heat, just um, simmering away with the lid ajar. Uh, instead of tomato puree, you could have added um, peeled and chopped tomatoes. Uh, but in the winter, it's best to use um, tomato puree. These beans you can also buy and uh, peel and freeze them. They're ideal for freezing and then using them when they're not in season. So now we're going to put the seasoning. And that is a teaspoon of salt. That. A little bit of black pepper. And we will add some sugar. Yes, sugar. Um, so I've got one and a half teaspoons of sugar to go in there as well. This is almost done now. Can you see how thick the juice has gone? Now that we put the seasoning in, we're just going to put the lid on and let it simmer away for another five minutes. So here we are, it's been on for about 45 minutes, um, obviously taste it and um, make sure it's cooked, but this is it now, it's now uh, all cooked, um, I'm just going to turn it off and dish it up, right here we are, I've just dished it up um, uh, and then you just put some parsley if you wish on top. It's a dish where uh, you have it like a cold dish. I know it's hot at the moment, but it's a cold dish that you can eat um, as like a salad, as a starter, as a side dish on your main courses. Um, you can drizzle some olive oil on top of it. And this is how we cook it. Um, obviously, the sugar gives it a nice taste. It's quite... Um, you don't make you don't need to make this um, too runny too watery mine took about 45 minutes to cook so just test it and then um, once it's softened the beans are softened and then you can obviously um, it's ready it's cooked if it needs a little bit more water as it's cooking just add a little bit more water and that's it guys this is called barbunya until next time take care Bye for now.